Well, you obviously feel that you're not working at your full capacity. You must have this intuition that there's more to give and that your current circumstances doesn't permit that. And that, it, it's quite obvious that that um, desire in you doesn't come from an inflated sense of your own abilities. It's, it, it's obviously, it's true. You, you just know that there's more. You could give more. There's more in in you and then and then this doubting voice comes in um, which is really the voice of the the ego or the separate self that wants to keep you contained wants to keep you um, from from expanding because whenever we expand beyond limits uh, the the ego experiences it as a death Whenever we go beyond ourselves, there is, the ego experiences a little death because the ego is defined by its limits. That's what the ego is, a, a limitation or an apparent limitation on our true nature. Talking in general about going beyond our limits. So you have this intuition in you. you, you you've, you, you you're, you're comfortable in, in, in your limits. You've got your, your students that, that you work with and it, it, it's comfortable, it's fine, but but you feel this limit that that's the feeling of ego, the ego there is this impulse in you you want to go you know you can go beyond that not because you think you're a brilliant pianist but because you have this deep intuition that what you essentially are is unlimited and you project that onto your work as a pianist and you think I can perform higher than this and you're absolutely right you can perform higher than this but not because you think you're a brilliant pianist is but, but because you are this you, you are without limits and you translate that into your skill as a pianist and it means you can operate at a much higher level the, but then the ego fears are oh, is, is it Daniel or Darren Darren, Darren. The, the, the ego says ah if Darren gets a job working at a higher level he's going to expand beyond his current limitations so the ego says I, I will not survive that expansion I will die that's the voice of doubt in you. That's the voice of the doubt. It's the ego telling you, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't expand. I'll die. I'll die. You don't, don't do that. Just, just stay comfortable. You're fine. You're well paid. You're well respected. It, it, you have a nice life. It, 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 it. Uh, all the ego is, it, really the ego couldn't care less about you. It just wants to stay. It just wants to stay. It doesn't want to die. There's this impulse in you. Fortunately, the, the uh, impulse... Um, for truth is stronger than uh, the ego's resistance to it <coughs> sooner or later. To begin with, they, they kind of battle with each other, they go backwards and forth, but sooner or later, tr truth, uh, uh, our intuition of truth o overrides our fear. So I, I, would inc I say all that to, to help you have the right interpretation of your doubt. Don't listen to it. It's the, it's the ego just not wanting to die in you. But there's a much deeper impulse, the same impulse that brings you here. It's the same impulse that wants you to perform at a higher level as a pianist. That, that's the much deeper. The, the doubt is on the surface of your mind. It's, a, it's just an egoic, um, old egoic habit in you that expresses itself in your case as doubt. Um, but the much deeper, stronger, truer impulse in you is to is to expand beyond your limitations, whatever that might mean for you as a pianist. So uh, it's helpful to have the right interpretation for the doubt because when it rises again, you're less likely to listen to it if you understand the mechanism behind it. Okay, yes, this, this old habit of the ego, it just doesn't want to die. I understand that. I don't need to listen to it. It might continue for a while, but you don't listen to it. You listen to what your heart is telling you, but the heart in this case is, is your, your deep intuition of truth. You listen, <coughs> listen to that and follow that. And probably you'll find, uh, I wouldn't be surprised, surprised if you find that just by having this confidence in this intuition that you have and no longer listening to the doubt, because of this um, correspondence between our inner life and, and the outside world, that just having this understanding will in somehow reconfigure the world that you live in and some new opportunity will open up. 
There'll be this magical response of the world to this inner change in you. And all the inner changes, you've understood the doubt, you no longer listen to it, you're going to give you're going to listen to this deeper voice inside you. You're going to you're going to acknowledge it, validate it, follow it, and not let the doubt prevent it. And chances are the world will respond to that.